I've never heard a tire make this noise before. That's a pretty big hole. Hello, welcome to the vlog. Today is the first day that we haven't been working basically, like we've been filming all week. It's like the most awkward intro ever. <laughs> hey, we work a lot. Let me get in the car. <laughs> Anyway, so we are just going to lunch and then maybe... Where, where do you want to go to lunch? Maybe we should do Cafe Zupas. Oh, Zupas? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Zupas. That's a good one. I haven't been there in a while. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. And then do you want to go on like a razor ride before the kids get out? Sure. So we got a razor. I will show you guys all about it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of cool because one thing I do miss about Utah is that we are so close to the mountains everywhere. They took down this huge tree. No. Oh, that's sad. That was I a huge why. tree. I don't know. I wonder if it blew over. We had a ton of, ton oh, yeah. of uh, wind the last couple of days. Everything is blown over on our porch today. Like the the bird is house it? is like all banged up. Is it? Yeah, like We've the had copper roof. Such crazy wind the last few days. All the chairs are blown over. But anyway, I'm way off topic. But so in, in Utah, it was really great because. Um, we always were up on the mountains. We were so close to, so we could just take day trips out on the mountains, and it kind of, kind of really helped. This sounds kind of corny, but connect with the land. You know, you really kind of felt at home, and I've kind of missed that here in Arizona because uh, we have cars that are capable. You know, like this car could do it, but I don't want to go out in the brush and scratch it all up and dig it all up. It's kind of not as wide open as Utah was. So. Um, we're pretty lucky that we live close to mountains and we live close to a lot of trails. So we decided to get a Razor, which is a side-by-side. -side. I don't know how familiar you guys are, but I'll show you later on in the video. Basically just to do that, to go up and kind of connect with the land and see what's around us. And like I said, we're pretty lucky. There's hundreds of miles of desert uh, pretty close to our house. We can kind of just leave our house and get right on the roads. Arizona is actually like very mountainous, or at least like this like Phoenix area, Where especially live, like North yeah. Phoenix. It's just very, like, there's just mountains all yeah. around you. Yeah, so that's been really cool. The downside is the Mustang had to go because we had to fund, <laughs> we had to fund buying it somehow. So yeah. the Mustang is sold. That's, yeah. actually, I sold it to my dad, which worked out kind of cool because I bought it from my dad a few years ago. Yeah. But he can't pick it up till April. So for now, I get both. <laughs> so that's pretty great. But the yeah. Mustang is sold. It's gone. And we ended up buying a razor with that and it's been really awesome we haven't had it too long we've had it like a week like a week maybe 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 a week and a half i don't know it's, it hasn't been very long no. it's still pretty new but we've kind of just discovered some of the areas around here and gone out and had picnics and took the kids out and it's been yeah. a blast the boys have loved it so much yeah they've all been like so excited like if you have to go to the store it's like can we take the razor yeah i was amazed how diverse the desert is here it's not like just tan, yeah. you know, tan deadness. It's just alive. There's plants and all kinds. There's so much stuff everywhere that's alive. It's awesome. I feel like the desert is like more alive than like anywhere else we've lived. Yeah. Know? Like I know. you just think like there's not going to be a lot of animals. There's not going to be like a lot of things going on, but it's like everything out there is there's a lot and everything is like desperate to live and it's yeah. just like ferocious. Like it's just yeah. only, intense. Only the tough survive out here. That's yeah. For sure. The boys have loved it so much, and Kyle's been riding these things forever since he was a kid. So he, like, it doesn't phase him at all. But, like, he took me up on a mountain, and I don't even think it was that steep for you, but for me, I was, like, holding on, like, <laughs> yeah. wide-eyed, and the kids went up on it with him, that same mountain, and they were like, it was literally, like, vertical. It was like this, <laughs> except just a little bit more. And they were all, like, freaked out, yeah, and Kyle was like, oh, this is nothing, not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, it's been fun. So maybe we'll take you guys on a ride. It's just, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's way, it's way prettier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Especially when you get out in kind of the open desert mountains area. Yeah. It's gorgeous. But Gorge. It is. I am like. Is that still a thing? Was that not a thing? I thought that was like a thing that people said. I don't said. think so. I don't know. I'm so uncool. Just like the that classic is true. dad. Oh, someone said, I love your dad shirts. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. In the last vlog. 
and then he was like, I don't know, is are these dad shirts? And then I went back and like what like looked at like what shirt he was wearing and I call it his picnic shirt. That's a good shirt. I like it. I might wear it every time. It's like one of his favorites. It's a <laughs> like plaid. A plaid button and he literally has it in like multiple colors. <laughs> He loves that shirt and I'm like, that's like one of my least favorite ones. And I'm like, oh, that's definitely a dad shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but he loves it anyway. I just yeah. had to get a crack out of that because I was like, it is a dad shirt. Yeah, that's pretty funny. With all your dad jokes. I think I think he should make a dad book, a dad joke book. Here's a question. Am I the stereotypical dad? You know what I mean? Like I think you're pretty cool for a dad actually. You think I'm pretty cool for a dad? Yeah. See, I don't think I'm pretty cool for a dad. I think you're pretty cool for a dad. I will say, <laughs> I do think you wear a dad shirt sometimes. <laughs> I just think that one specific, or like, you know, those multiple same color ones, the picnic shirt is okay. a dad shirt. That brings up a whole other question then. Is the dad shirt a bad thing? No. Or, yeah, see? Except on it's date night. It's a great night. shirt. You don't like dad shirts on date night? Well, I don't like that shirt on date night. It's just too festive and fun. It's more like it's, rather be it's more like a picnic date. Like if you're going to a picnic, it's like hey, I brought my picnic shirt. <laughs> my life's one big picnic. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so we are almost to. But I do never remember what it's called. Cafe Zupas. Zupas. Their salads and soups are. Their salads too. are awesome. Yeah. yeah. You get like the pick two combo. That's I get. Where it's at. So I good. think like an avocado salad or something. And then, what's the soup? I get like, Wisconsin cauliflower. Oh yeah, I don't know. They have a lot of good ones, but anyway, we're almost there, so we'll show you what we get. I took the road, let's travel, travel. And my car broke down. I'm in the middle of a jungle, jungle. There's no turning back now. Hey, hey. And this is no place for strangers. I'm not welcome here. These creatures are all so dangerous. They can smell my fear. There's a voice in the distance crying out, saying, Leave everything that you know behind. I'll risk everything for you. Good morning, it's actually the following day. Amanda and I left to go get some super sweet shots on the Razor yesterday to share with you guys and we had a bit of a problem. Let me show you what we got. So for those of you who don't know what a side-by-side -side is or a Razor, it is this thing here. It's kind of an off-road vehicle. There's not a lot to it. It's built for one thing and that one thing is pretty much tearing up trails, jumping off rocks, stuff like that. And we ended up getting a four-seater which worked out really well. The kids love to go. We haven't had it too long like I said but and we've put maybe, oh, I don't know, 300 miles or so on it. And most of that has been trail riding over rocks and in the mountains and things like that. Like I said, we're pretty lucky. Close by, we have a lot of trails. But yesterday, we went out to get some cool drone shots and got a flat tire. I guess I hit a rock just wrong or something. I don't know, but you can see. Look at this. It's down, but there's, there's about, there's a hole in the side of the tire about uh, dime size probably like that right in the sidewall and then we had uh, I just limped it back home with a flat tire on it but I've never heard a tire make this noise before that's a pretty big hole so now the plan is I already got a new one ordered I got to take the tire off of this one take it down to the shop get it replaced and then we'll go get some awesome drone shots with the razor I 
Where's you now with a party at? We the ones that he just let into the back. We the misfits. How you gonna react? We insomniacs. We ain't get no sleep. Break the rules. Can't stay on beat. Making moves. Running through the streets. A to Z. Follow my lead. Saints is that's pro. This is rock and roll. This is how I got a now. Run Okay, so we finally got the tire off, and you can see here's the, here's the, there's quite a hole in there in the sidewall. Normally you wouldn't want to drive on these flat like I just did, but there's no repair there, so this tire's pretty much trashed as it is. You can also see that I took a pretty big ding out of the rim right here, so hopefully that doesn't present an issue. Hopefully a new tire will still seal on there. If not, then we might have to replace this whole rim. I really hope not, but... Pretty big ding there. We'll go ahead, throw it in the back of the truck, and we will be on our way. We got the new tire. This one doesn't have a big hole in it. Let's go put it on. today it is just coming down like crazy we actually had a lot of stuff to get done today but we finished it just now and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to run to Goodwill I've been kind of wanting slash needing to go there for a few things so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm hoping I can find some things it's mostly for like flipping stuff it kind of drives Kyle nuts because sometimes it takes me a while to get around to like flipping things, but he likes the final product, like once I'm done with them. So anyway, there's Fee Boy. He's so sweet. Oh goodness. Look at Phoenix. So sweet buddy. Anyway, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to go there and then I figured I would just take you guys with me. So let's go to Goodwill.
this abandoned Live it till it's gone Let's dive in Okay, it's gonna start raining. I spent a little bit of time in there, but I figured I would go ahead before I get home and just show you guys everything I picked up. So some things are for me to flip, and then I'm actually doing like a little project with some of the girls from our church, and so I am basically going out and getting like a few little small items from the thrift store, and then we're gonna do like an activity where we just flip all the things. So for those ones, I wanted them to be like $2 or less. So I'll kind of show you, not in any specific order, but I'll show you everything we got. Okay, so this first one is actually new, but it was $2.50. So this is just a birdhouse, and I thought this would be fun to paint. It's not like a traditional flip, because it's just unfinished, but I thought that would be a lot of fun. This one was again $2.50, and this is like a little jar. Mm. I guess you'd call it a jar, kind of like a bowl, I guess. But I loved the texture on this. Honestly, like this one wouldn't really even need to be flipped, but I feel like you could paint this or put some more texture on it and it would just be really like a cute little jar, so, or bowl, I don't know, anyway. Then I think this is literally just like a plant saucer, but it was a dollar and I thought this would be like the cutest little once you paint it or like I said textured or something, this would be the cutest little holder for like some rings or jewelry. I have one similar to this. I think mine's actually a little bit smaller, but I thought this would be really cute for that. Then I also found these decorative spheres or whatever. They have like a little bottom on them, but you could put them like in a bowl or you could just set them out as like decor. I don't love like the really shiny metal metallic finish but I thought this would be just a lot of fun to paint this again. I feel like a lot of the flips we're gonna end up painting because we didn't get any furniture or anything. Those were a dollar each. And then this one was $3.50. You can see like the design on it, but I thought this could be like a cute little tray you could set on your side table or something like that. So I'm sure someone will want that and it has some little legs at the bottom. Okay, this one was $2.50, but I thought this could be a cute tray just to put again, like maybe like on your dresser and put some candles or something on it. And especially if you paint it or sand it and stain it or something a different color, I thought that would be really cute. Even if you wanted to be a little more fancy with it, you could even like glue some little legs on the bottom and do like a rised tray. Okay, we still have more like flip items, but I did find a bunch of DVDs. These are pretty much all like a dollar fifty. I think there was one that was two dollars, but we have a DVD player in the car and our kids are always like pretty much using the same one to two movies or shows. So I wanted a little break. <laughs> so I got some little other ones for a way, way better deal than finding them even at like the five dollar or three dollar bin at the store for only a dollar. This rain is it's not rain, it's hail. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I also picked up some belts. These all almost, like they looked new, but they were $3.50 each. They have this tag, they all have the same tag. It's Greg Norman with like a shark or something. I've never seen that. They had different ones, so I got Luke a few different styles and they were a really good deal. Then <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I know like we have plenty of toys, but you know how it goes. This is like an old Ford truck. It actually kind of reminds me of the truck that Kyle had when we were first dating. His was actually like red and black and I think a little white or something, but it just kind of reminded me like it was kind of like an older truck like this. And this is like, if you guys could feel it, this one was 450, but it is such, 
like it's like one of those old toys where it's like really good quality you can like open up all the doors and everything so I'm sure that Noah will like this and because it's good quality I think it won't break in like a week because sometimes their toys that they make nowadays it's like they're just not good quality you're getting close to the end and I'm saving my very favorite for last okay this one I found I thought this was just like the shape of it and the fact that it was like 250 I feel like so many of the things in there were so overpriced a lot of things that you really wouldn't want to use or have unless if you flip them were like nine ten dollars and I'm like you could go to Walmart and get the same thing and not have to spend time or money flipping it so that's why I didn't get a lot of the things that I saw just because I felt like some of them were a good deal but these littler ones are definitely a good deal this is ceramic I guess or maybe it's just clay yeah it actually is clay inside I thought this could be really cute I've been wanting to try that like texture paint where you do like the baking soda and paint or like spackle I've seen both of those done and I think they just turn out so good so I thought that could be really cool with the shaped base and then I think this is my last lip item and it's literally just a picture frame it's actually new so it's in like perfect condition but this was only a dollar fifty and you can do several different things with this you can like paint the frame to match whatever decor style you want you can actually take the print out inside and then put a picture in or you can take the mat and the print and put a picture in or something that I like to do is like paint over the glass right here and then you can just attach like little mini clothespins or like little hooks and then you can actually it's gonna be like perfect for especially teenagers they can add like a couple of those and just like replace the pictures like Polaroid pictures or like a four by six shot I don't know I've done that before and I think it's so cute another thing you could even do with this is literally like just make one of those textured picture painting things with spackle so i mean you could do a lot with this one but it was only a dollar 15 i thought it was a good size and good quality and then this is probably the only thing that i don't really have a full idea about but it was 450 and i just thought it looked cool so it's like a matte black and then it has this twine on it but you open it up and it's tin so or metal so it seems like it's really good quality but I figured I don't know this is one of the things that I almost put back a few times but then I was like I don't know I really like it it's just so unique I felt like you could style this like that or you could put it like in a guest room and put a lid on it I don't know maybe I shouldn't have got it it just was calling to me I was really interested in it you could definitely add a lot of different texture on it but even as is it's just a pretty cool little piece all right are you ready for my very favorite item i was so excited to find this one i was like i'm sure it's gonna be overpriced but it was 9.50 it's heavy it is this gorgeous lamp like honestly you don't even again like have to flip this one but i feel like it looks better on the camera like the color so that's probably the color i would like <laughs> it's more like a stone color but in person it's much more yellow so I would definitely think to paint this one and you could also do again like that spackle texture and then you know paint that rub some dirt on it whatever like I'm sure you guys if you're into the flipping stuff I'm sure you guys have seen all that but this shape is like so in right now it's very very heavy like you can just see it's just like a really heavy piece it didn't come with a lampshade but those are easy to find either we might have one or you can just find those at the store but I thought this would be perfect we are planning on some makeovers at my sister's house we've been talking the last like week or two more in depth about those just because they do take a long time to plan so I thought this would be perfect maybe for like their guest bedroom or something I'm not really sure we're not even 100% sure what areas in her house we're doing we know like their bedroom their outdoor space probably their pantry and then we're going between living room and their guest bedroom. I actually don't think I've ever done a living room, so maybe that might be fun. Either way, I thought this will be for sure used somewhere, and it was just such like a good find that I could not pass it up, especially for under $10. I am going to head home. I still have a bit of time before 
the boys get home, but I think I need to go prep some food and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and head home and do that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was kind of spanned over the course of several days. So you guys will have to let us know if you like, it's just kind of like tidbits throughout the week or if you like just like a full day of whatever we're doing. So either way, it doesn't matter, but definitely let us know. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.